Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU Cooler and as you can see it is very similar to the Hyper 212 Plus it is a tower style design CPU cooler it has four direct contact heat pipe design and uh, let me just grab the original package for the Hyper, actually this is the original package this is the latest version of the Hyper 212 Plus that is available in the market it has a LGA 1155 support. This was actually purchased about a few months ago. So if you go out to the market right now and buy a Hyper 212 Plus, you will see this kind of packaging. It is different from what the original Hyper 212 Plus was when it was released in 2009. And uh, Cooler Master actually uh, introduced a few changes and I'll go into that in more detail on that later on once we unbox the Hyper 212 Evo and compare the Hyper 212 Plus with that, uh, for now I'm going to move this aside just so you can quickly see that uh, there's also cosmetic changes with the packaging. This is a, uh, see this is a semi-gloss cover, cover box and the uh, the plum colored Cooler Master uh, color theme in here is a little darker in these new versions of the products that are going to come out and are coming out right now such as this Hyper 212 Evo. and. Of course, the Hyper 212 Evo, similar to the Hyper 212 Plus, is compatible with every single uh, desktop processor from AMD, AMD and Intel, from Intel sockets uh, um, 775 all the way up to 1366, and in between such as the 1155 or 1156, and it also supports AMD CPUs from uh, AMD FM1 all the way through the uh, upcoming AM3 Plus CPUs, which are the bulldozer CPUs, and that's because it uses the same AM3 um, spacing in the socket. And uh, here you can see the side, there's more of the promotional photo, and here at the back you see uh, same, this is basically just the same four features that are listed here in the front. It has four direct contact heat pipe for seamless contact between CPU and cooler, upgradable second fan with a quick snap, quick snap bracket, and a PWM fan, and a all-in-one mounting solution. Now here at the back, similar to the Hyper 212 Plus, you can see a diagram of the Hyper 212 Evo heatsink and uh, of course it is important if you want to make sure that the, there's enough clearance inside your case for the height specifically. It has 158.5 millimeters. It's 158.5 millimeters tall. So just in case you have one of those uh, cases that have a large side fan, like a 20 millimeter side fan, it might need uh, a little bit more clearance or you might need to remove the side fan to fit taller uh, taller um, towered style design heat sinks. Now let us actually just open this box right now so we can compare both the previous uh, Hyper 212 Plus and the new Hyper 212 Evo, the Cooler Master. So to open it up, just flip it on the top and inside. It's very similar packaging inside as well. And, uh, Make sure that the box is completely empty. Here we have the Universal Cooler Master backplate. You will find the same backplate no matter what uh, what heatsink you buy from Cooler Master. Any heatsink that uses a backplate mounting, um, unlike the TX3, which has the push pin mounting, uh, something like the S534 or the Cooler Master V6 GT, uh, you will or V8 will use this. Um, Cooler Master Universal Backplate Mounting. As you can see the mounting holes for AMD are these four holes right here. And for Intel, you have these varying ones from socket 775, 1155, and 1366. And let's put this aside and uh, see what we have here. This is the packaging. It is a, a form-fitting clamshell packaging there, transparent. Let me just put that in there so you can see it in the back while I unpack this accessory pack here. We have this uh, adjustable mounting bracket. And this is the optional. If you notice the fan is already pre-installed. One of the 120 millimeter fan and an optional fan mounting can be installed at the back. Additional 120 millimeter in a push-pull configuration. Right now this is a push configuration that is pre-installed. Here's a, a pair of additional 120 millimeter fan mounting. So you use the screws there and you just snap it on. And Cooler Master uh, thermal paste included. 
that should be good for multiple uses, multiple installations. You have these uh, appear to be rubber padding, uh, just for dampening the noise a bit when you install the fan. And these are screws that you use to secure uh, an additional 120 millimeter fan into the plastic uh, bracket for your fan. And to install your uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo into your motherboard, you will use these two things. You just basically screw them to each other and put the motherboard in between. Of course, the back plate should also be in here and you secure it. Uh, we'll show that later once we do the installation video. And of course, there's four of these, just as there are, just as there are four of the screws for securing the 120 millimeter optional fan and this is an accessory in case you don't have pliers or a uh, wrench you can use uh, this adapter for your screwdriver to secure uh, the Hyper 202 Evo into your motherboard and uh, let's see what documentation we have here uh, there's usually three different kinds of documentation here one is the warranty information which has this sheet right here as it comes in multiple languages you have the English manual. You have a list of the um, accessories here, just in case. So you can, uh, before you proceed with installation, you have to make a checklist of what you have and what you don't have. And the multi language installation guide. And uh, let's put all the accessories aside for a bit so we can pull out this Hyper 212 Evo. And I am going to grab. The older Hyper 212 Plus version that is currently available in the market and compare them both. If you have purchased a Hyper 212 Plus version in the recent months, you will notice that they're very similar in terms of fan mounting clips. If you have purchased a Hyper 212 Plus version that came out originally in 2009 and a few months after that, you might have the version that comes with a fan wire clip. Now, Cooler Master actually. Had, uh, they didn't really publicize it too much, but they made slight changes to the Hyper 212 uh, Plus version that's available in the market, such as this one. This is the latest version you can find. If you buy one right now, you will find this version. It has the, the same um, plastic mounting clips. Now, this is better because the old uh, wire mounting clips was extruding by about a few millimeters to the side, so it might have some clearance issues. But this new plastic version is a lot better. Of course, it is also reflected in the Hyper 212. Evo version, but uh, the most obvious difference is the fan here. Now, uh, this is very similar looking to what we have in the uh, V6 GT. It has the thicker and translucent and a lot more attractive fan. And this is um, this can be a bit louder, but uh, on the minimum speeds, it is actually quieter than the uh, what what the Hyper 212 Plus version comes with. And of course, the blades are a lot uh, heavier and they move a lot of air and they're also a lot, uh, they have a lot more surface area compared to here. As you can see, the circle in the middle occupies a lot of space compared to the uh, one found in the Hyper 212 Evo. And uh, they're both PWM fans, 4 pin PWM, as you can see here. But uh, with the 212 Evo, this is an all black cabling, a lot more attractive. It still has that uh, annoying Cooler Master Warranties Void uh, tag right here. As you can see, it's already come off. I haven't even. But uh, here on the 212 Plus, is the, it has the same uh, color coding as the one found in Intel. Uh, if you have a stock Intel cooler, you'll find it's the same uh, color, color coding. And, but as for the heatsink itself, you can see they're very similar. In fact, uh, I'm pretty sure there's not much difference in terms of that. But the difference lies underneath here. Uh, let me just pull this out. And of course, there is a warning sticker before you install the Hyper 212 Evo. Make sure to remove this sticker, just peel it off so it doesn't uh, melt all over your CPU. And here is the Hyper 212 Plus bottom, as you can see. It has direct, uh, continuous direct contact copper heat pipe underneath. But compared to the Hyper 212 Evo, there are gaps in between. So uh, if you are applying thermal paste, it will actually uh, go into those little grooves. But here the Hyper 212 Evo, the 
flat and heat pipes are a lot more closer together. There's actually virtually no room there. It's very little room compared to in the 212 uh, plus version for the thermal paste to sneak in. So it will just basically spread out across the uh, copper base here. And then there's a same aluminum block in the bottom. And uh, also I'm just going to take a uh, note that uh, if you have the Hyper 212 that originally came out in uh, 2009 compared to this one, which is the most recent Hyper 212 Plus version, uh, you probably don't have this little thing right here. It, uh, let me just grab the top mounting lock and demonstrate what that's for. It basically, when you install it, that little piece of aluminum, uh, extruding aluminum right there, which just basically locks it in place so your uh, heat sink doesn't move around when, when you uh, have it inside. It limits the motion that you can find that as well in the Hyper 212 Evo. Now the, the older version doesn't have that, so some uh, what happened was the older Hyper 212 plus heat sinks would, when you install it, uh, usually it would, if you don't secure it properly, it could, it could tilt a bit and could affect performance. But uh, that's another feature that the Hyper 212 Evo shares with the Hyper 212 Plus. And uh, now in terms of thermal performance, of course, uh, we haven't installed it yet. So we don't know how well um, this improvement will actually affect the performance. Also, the fan is supposed to, um, supposed to be able to push a lot more air than the Hyper 212 Evo. So we'll also compare that. We'll, and uh, so uh, actually, I'm just going to throw this in to uh, our system, it is an AMD, AM3 system, and uh, let's run how, and compare the benchmarks in terms of temperature, just how well this new update performs compared to the Hyper 212 Plus version.